recent music or flesh in this video is fair use because it is transformative in nature for non-commercial purposes and has no negative impact on the market for the original song. Moreover, playing this video, the modded device is also fair use as there are no linguistic points between PC and modded devices under US copyright law. I do not own the audio or footage in this video. They belong to their rightful owners. It's astounding. Time is fleeting. Madness takes its toll. But listen closely. Not for very much longer. I've got to. Keep control. following is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. And I'm sorry this the book of Poo intro is so confused. We have to skip it. Gee, it's kinda dark. You weren't supposed to enter this room. Oh shit. Here we go again. Once upon a time, long ago, there was a magic flying rock. How many times have you heard that to begin a story? Let's do something else. Long ago in a distant land, I, Aku, the shape-shifting master of darkness, unleashed an unspeakable evil. But a foolish figures wielding a magic sword stepped forth to oppose me. And that's all you're gonna get from that. This could be the room of any small sexy bitch, but it just happens to belong to a boy named Christopher Columbus. <laughs> had many toy, 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 toys, but his very best friend was nothing. Several hours later, well, I'm gonna do a book. Oh, no, no, not the book. How many have seen opening? Wow! How many have seen closing the book? We're doing that. Take a look. It's in a no, book. No, not the book. No, I need a no, 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 no. We need a poo. Wait half a darn minute. You're using a cattle decapitation song to beg in your YouTube poop. 99.9% .9 of the viewers watching this video probably don't even know who they are. Could you have settled for something more familiar to everyone? Like my infamous brain drain joke. Get on with it! Scary monsters! It's a dinosaur! Dinosaur! It was that time of year again. The time when gardens are planted. Halloween is one of the most exciting nights of the year. People dress up to go to parties, children go trick-or-treating. It's one of the few times where the night is true. I only had a brain drain! Pumpkins grin and the spookables. <laughs> <gasps> Twas my pie gone missing. I smell a demon. <laughs> Are you scared? Not really, no. Oh, hello, yeah. And no? Not really, no. Roar. 
How about now? No? God damn it. Exterminating each is over there. Peekaboo. Get in my belly! Insert random jump scare joke here. I don't think it's funny. Oh, nothing. Saw it coming. Booga, go go look at me, you stupid. Yo, somebody call the police! Call the police! <laughs> A few moments later. Wow, I'm terrified. <laughs> Take my lunch, whatever you want. Oh. Take, Take off, off your, your fucking mask. <laughs> nah, nah. It's me, boy. Oh, son of a bitch. Hey, Vsauce. Rude. Here. I was just getting ready for Halloween. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so Lumpy's first time trick or treating. That looks good. See, 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 see. It's gonna be Lumpy Trump Trump's first time fucking treat. Bye bye. The next morning, mystery was crisp in the air as the animals awoke from their restless. Oh great! Now I'm doing it. Magic. It's a lovely day to walk down the road, and if I ever stop singing, I will explode. Death walks among us. Holy fuck! I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Ah! What's that moaning? What? Yes. Who's there? Huh? Totally quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. Okay, cut. It's I'm hunting rabbits, Elmer. Let's try that again. Shh. I'm hunting wabbits. Cut. Rabbits. Wabbits. Rabbits. Wabbits. Rabbits with an R. Oh, this duet is starting to wub me the wrong way. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I think he's gone. Two seconds later. <laughs> three seconds later. Ah! Gil Bloom was pretending to be the announcer and making horrifying statements about the passage of time. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! It's not for you to get. <gasps> uh, hey, folks, viewer mail time again. <clears throat> Deer pig. Several bad puns later. Ray? Yeah? Am I adopted? Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Oh shit, motherfuckers! Damn apples come out of trees so fast, motherfuckers! They give us cotton candy. Ow! It's not cotton candy. And cider. And cheater than cookies. Cookies. I wonder what this movie is. Here comes the title. It's... It's the sequel. They made another one. Too close. A little too close. <laughs> it was whole life. Trigger 
treat! Trick or treat! Beat my meat! Give me something to stick on my penis! Six hours later! How long is this going to take? Jump scare! Oh, hi! How are you? Come on in. Who the fuck are you? You never see it come I've shit my pants. <laughs> For f**k's sakes, hurry up! I shall have him! Oh, come on, she's a little girl! Grow a spine on your own time, blimpo. I told you he was on to us. <laughs> What did we drug the kiss candy Don't with? fucking ask me brain drain. <laughs> we frightened them so much, they forgot to- <gasps> Don't think about playing that stupid- Be like scream joke. Don't do it. I'm sick of it. Who? what the hell? You say that they were gonna get scared the hell of their butts? I can't believe I trust you. Four hours later! I don't think we frightened them bigly. That's not funny, you sick. Oh dear, didn't we scare you at all, Rule? Stop calling me scared! What? What either? House Cocoa Pebbles cereal, part of this complete- Well, we have... Trumpet Trumpet Day. Well, we have... Trump Trumpet Day. <laughs> That's Somebody got this heffle of some candy. No candy for anyone. <laughs> no brain drain for anyone. Not until the proper time. Shut them out of town <gasps> like a circus clown. <laughs> no, 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 stop. No, no more candy on this treat or tricking. <laughs> As you see, I've collected all the seeds. <laughs> As you see, I've collected all the seeds in the hundred year wood. I've collected all the seeds. United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru, Guatemala, Bolivia, then Argentina, and Ecuador, Chile, Brazil. Now, Pooh Bear, uh, you'll be trick or treating with Pooh Bear. No, thank you. And I'll be with the brain drain tigger. You forgot about me, didn't you? <gasps> Figures. Nobody cares about you. Ooh. Wow! How original! Trick or treating begins promptly at the stroke of Sanas. Are you sure about that? I don't think my tummy can wait that long, Rabbit. Well, your tummy will just have to wait, Pooh. But it's opposite day. Hold up! Freeze frame! You guys see this? We need to save all the candy for tonight. Put food in me! And the proms tomorrow! You know you're getting way too old for the ship, Rabbit. You're more. You're a bitch ass motherfucker. Halloween. Hello. Oh, oh bother. I forgot. It's stupid. And I don't hello with it. You must never, ever approach or enter my shed. <laughs> Diabetes. Well, a sweet treat is just my cozy hot cup of lapsang. Are you from gone. British? Who's behind that best you <laughs> 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 No! 
One hour later. Oh, this place is a nightmare. Several song-filled hours later. Bravo. You've succeeded. Yes. You what? Not scary. It's scary. You know, as long as we don't run into the brain drain, of course. <laughs> um, Camhead, I can explain. Don't call the brain drain heads on me. The good, but His lair lies beyond the creepy cave. <laughs> Down the sloughy slough. And in the tree of terror. House of Terror! I'm back! Give me a kiss! Once upon a time, Benson was so dumb! Did ever scarify the brain drain? Don't listen to that lunatic, and there's no such thing as a gabloon. Take it! Brother, you are so so. Heartless! Big mouth! Heartless! Why do I even fucking bother anymore? Life death, life death, life death, life death, life death! Oh, why does it always oh, have to be me? Every Halloween, he roams to turn poor victims into brain drains! Oh! <laughs> There is one good thing. If you catch him, you get to beat him up to death. <gasps> There's no such thing as a balloon, and that's all there is to it. Shut up! No, I don't really feel like it. Fuck you! Quick, everyone. Everyone grab hold. <laughs> Bonk! <gasps> What's that? Where am I going? You're going to heaven, Dad. Well, I guess that. <laughs> 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 That's disgusting! Boink! Boink! Ooh! Rain, rain! I don't believe I thought this through. Hey, who turned out the lights? Is it nighttime already? Ah! Oh, dear Neptune! Ah! What the fuck is that? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Tactical nuke! Incoming! Ah! Later that same evening. You guys go ahead. I'll stay here with Lumpy. The things I do for love. No candy left. <laughs> what do you mean, no candy left? Two seconds later. <laughs> I warned you. Why there's sex and sex of it over the world. We got sex of it over the world. We got sex of it over the world. And now the fucking candy gone. Mighty impressive for one bear to. Oh, sorry. Just for that, my ravenous bear, you can go see Mama Fireplant and bring back some fireballs to start the barbecue. That was an accident. It fell into my mouth. Meanwhile, you ate it. You took my only food. Now I'm gonna starve. <laughs> Mighty impressive. <laughs> but your rabbit has a few sweets tucked away. Don't you long ears. You stupid tigger. I'm afraid uh, there will be no trick or treating this year. Oh dear. And so, after a conversation worth ignoring, El Tigre's Wannings Groot and Lumpy Space Elephant embarks on a long trek to his ship. <laughs> Five minutes later. I'm gonna for a million cookies and then a million candies, then three more wishes. No, no, no wishing for more wishes. It's okay, Lumpy. It's only an echo. Listen. <laughs> Roo, please don't do that again. <laughs> Don't do that again. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, we have to find him. Mama! Yeah, yeah, we got it. Come on, dude. Hurry up and quit it! Just then, by sheer coincidence. The very
Friday night, this happened! Wonder which way we should go. <laughs> Would I tell y'all about coming in my shed? I'm coming for you. See anything? Trick or treat. Nope. I'm just so scared. Maybe a story will cheer you up. Alright. It's called. Who do you do? I'm going to go to Halloween Horror Night. Sorry, sir. No Disney stop allowed. This is Universal, not Disney World. Oh bother. How about a story? Sure! Just don't make it long and pointless like you usually do. Oh. Now you just sit back and I'll tell you a real barn burner. Once upon a time, a long time ago. Longer now than it seems. In a place that perhaps you've seen in your dream here. Tell your she bedtime story! Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. It all happened before Mom and I moved to the Hundred Acre Wood. Uh, no. You just made that up. As October breezes bluster. Everyone died! Bluster, bluster. Hi guys, it's a story time! It was a wonderful morning in the Hundred Acre Wood. Winnie the Pooh. And everyone was de doing something. Pooh was. No, let's see. Pooh was. Uh, Practicing! For the number of brain drain jokes I caught looking in this colo. So I must be prepared. So I Insert immediate downgrade in animation, and we see where our current story begins. Bother. Fucking thing sucks! I've smackled every smackle. <laughs> 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 What's it? <laughs> I'm the funny sense fella to man. Tigger doesn't look like I give a damn about your stupid dead meme obsession. Happy Halloweenin' to ya, Pooh Boy! Hey! Hey! Not late, am I? Didn't miss any anything, did I? My die, my die, die, die. Halloween. Trick or treat! Hello, Pooh. Trick or treat! Low poo! 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 Trick or treat! That's my joke! Every day when you're walking down the street, around, 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 around. You know that joke was way too obvious. Trick a treat. Trick a treat. Nice costume. You make a good ice. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. You make a good ass. Hey kid, would you like some drugs? First one is free. <sighs> nice. Nice. I'm not supposed to be some yak yakety 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 yakety. Fuck you say to me, you little shit. Yakety yak. Don't talk back. Hold up, freeze frame. You guys seen this? You waiting? I don't think there is such a prize. And face it, you're no prize either. The fuck you say to me, you little shit! Fuck you! Yeah, that's good. Fine with me! <laughs> <laughs>
We can't go yet. What do you mean? <laughs> Meanwhile, on an unrelated note, this happens. Oh, goody. Now I'm gonna get ready for Halloween. But first, maybe a little schmackerel of her. <gasps> My hoodie! It's gone! And that's how it was when I entered the place of residence that day. And I saw it. My honey pot, clean, dry, empty on the ground. Someone had stolen it. But what crazed me at Worf? Well, there's only one way to figure out. And that was when I knew it was time for another cliche 1930s type investigation. The Big City. A place that you can find criminals and buildings that the tallest were at that time were probably about 20 to 30 stories. But we're not here to talk about buildings, we're here to talk about my missing honey. Now I know what you're thinking. I obviously called one of my dear friends who've been in Winnie the Pooh before. Well, I would have, except there was one problem. They were all getting ready for Halloween, so I couldn't get them. So instead, I got Pingy Pogue, ironically enough, actually cameoing in one of the videos that isn't an anniversary video, or whatever the other thing he does. And yes, the producers removed his metal arm for no reason at all, just because they thought it was funny. So, you got any leads? No, I don't. But my detective instincts tell me to go to the most reliable place to find criminals. And that is obviously a night bar. Any good detective knows that if you want to find any 1930s villains, just go to a pub. And as we entered, I already saw it. Everything you would expect from a 1930s bar. People drinking in appropriately dressed clothes, smoking cigars that are way too large, and playing the most dilapidated devil's game, pool table. But we couldn't discuss every nook and cranny that's in a bar. So we just skipped to where you see a sky shot of us starting to interrogate the pub owner. Hey bartender, I have a question for you. What is it now, detective poo? It's P.I. Pill, whatever. What do you want to know now? I'm looking for my honey. Since this is a bar, I figured that the criminal would be here since bars are clichédly known to have a bunch of bad characters. Hey, Fish, did you take this stuff prick's honey? No, I didn't take this guy's honey because I get my honey exotic. Like my meats, I get really young and fresh meat for my special eateries. Are you sure there's no one else here would want to steal my honey? Listen, bub, the rest of the people here are stereotypical drunks and others who are pretty much cameos from other 1930s-like films. And besides, if he had stolen your honey, he'd be eating himself out of the house right now, not drinking his cares away here. The bartender was right. The rest of the people here were either just cameos or blackouts. But there was one question I had to ask him. One more question. Have you ever killed a man? No, but I'm made out of several dead men. Hmm, that would explain your unfinished tattoo. After leaving the bar, I deducted the next place we had to go where you would certainly find an evil person. The bank. Everyone knows that anyone in charge of a bank is generally evil. Well, well, it's a pleasant surprise to see you again, Pooh. What, do you think I'd hightail it and get out of here and not expect you to do anything wrong? No, but I figured you wouldn't be here after I evicted you from your house back in 1929 before the Great Depression. You know, there's a thing called learning. If you had simply learned how to run the stock market, you wouldn't have found yourself in poverty. Well, I guess, unfortunately, some of us aren't financial wizards. <laughs> We're not here to ask about Pooh's poor life choices. We're here to ask you questions. Hmm, really? So you want to ask me something? Make it quick. The Rockwells are coming over to ask for a donation. Or more accurately, another loan. Did you take this overly obese bear's honey? Very interesting. Except there's one thing you didn't think of. 
before coming here is the fact that I own over several thousand businesses in the Honey District, and also that I could easily just order from them anytime I want to much higher grade honey than what that stuffed pincushion could get in a lifetime. But anyhow, it is time for you to go. By the looks of it, they'll be here any minute, so either go or I will throw you out. We left, and I should have realized that he wouldn't have taken it. Besides, he owned the street. He has pretty much a monopoly of everything. Of course, he would have just kicked me off before taking my honey. And secondly, we left because, think about it, the guy had a grandfather clock in his pocket. Anyone that big is someone you don't want to mess with. So we then went to the next place where I would expect to find my honey. Or at least, maybe a trace of him. I don't know, this guy we asked was pretty much an idiot. Hello, PJ. Can't really talk right now, Rogue. I'm here to ask you a question. Did you steal my honey? Uh, why would I steal your honey? I'm asking the questions. You need to answer them. Did you or did you not steal my honey? Fancy gold. I should have realized this was getting me nowhere. Besides, I should have realized this guy's a big idiot. Besides, he says hello to me every time we meet. But then it hit me. It hit me so obvious I'm surprised I didn't think of it before. Or else it was because I was getting tired of my voice being associated with... Captain Kirk. So, we went to the outskirts of the old abandoned beach house and caught the culprit. I should have realized it from the beginning. It was so obvious, but I was going after the normal stereotypes. I didn't think for a minute that you would have done it, Mickey Mouse. Why would you do this, Mickey? You're part of a corporation that starts out thinking of other people's dreams, which will then eventually evolve into a large business corporation and pretty much ruin people's dreams and other ideas only to make an extra buck or seem like they're for something they're truly not part of. Simple! I stole this honey because I wanted it! Because I'm powerful, famous, and rich! And also, Oh, I knew you'd go after those stereotypes first, because this is the 1930s, and everyone assumes I'm the good guy! Ha ha ha! That might be true, Mickey Mouse, but I have my honey back, and you're going to jail. Stereotypical 1930s Scottish policeman, book him. Alright, laddie, you're going to the Grey Bar Hotel for a long time, or until you get bailed out by a liberal. Just you wait! I'll be back, and I'll buy you over, and then milk you for all your worth just to make a profit! and sell kid items that really won't matter years later. Ha <laughs> ha And now the case of the missing liquid gold had been solved, we could get back to the normal YTP form. And plus, the more I smoke these cigars, I don't think this is actually healthy for me. So, uh, yeah. let's switch back before it gets really ugly. Oh yes, this is nice. We now return you to your regularly scheduled YTP. Hey folks, viewer mail time again! <clears throat> Dear Jeffrey, I know you've been working hard to become an A. There were many there I knew at the devil's ball. Howdy, friend. May I interest you in a line? Trick. Oh, I, uh, I haven't entirely decided exactly uh, just what I want to be precisely. Gasp, gasp, gasp! Look at the time! Come on! Pause! Oh my goodness! What? Well, um... This is strange. If I were you, and you were I, and I were you, how is that even possible? Oh, you imposter. You're acting sus. Oh, no. Thought you were a crewmate. Now you're. <laughs> Trick. Or... It was at this moment that he knew. A brain drain! Each precious pumpkin a picture of perfection. That <gasps> <laughs> way! That way! To your left! <laughs> 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 Turn left.
emergencies. Holy shit, my pumpkins are ruined. It took me five seconds for them to be destroyed in this unneeded flashback. Hold up! Freeze frame! You guys seen this? Oh, but it's gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna get it. I'm None of my business. It means another whole year of <laughs> How many times have you heard that? Too many times. It figures. We use this go to watch you the ground. Almost like it's a dead no. Let's do something else. <laughs> Oh, you gods! My poor pumpkins! It's ruined! Are you alright, Pauline? Don't you know me, Petunia? Tell my children I love them! Hello there! Trick or treat! <laughs> Two seconds later! Yeah, and why are you dressed like a bitch? Yeah, and why are you dressed like a muskrat? Muskrat? Yeah, and why are you dressed like- MY MOM! Yeah, and why are you dressed like a rat? I am not a rat! Yeah, and why are you dressed like- Idiot! <laughs> why are you dressed like- Rat Rat? Really? Fuck you, you rat! Holy <laughs> 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 This shit again? <laughs> <laughs> A brain drain! Tigger! My boy! I have no time for this dinner! Nonsense! You lying! Bruh, look at this dude! <laughs> <laughs> you don't suppose there will be any heffalumps of the honey hungry sort, do you? Oh, at least a dump a heffalump and fun crawling with spoon! <laughs> Why, we're gonna be creeping and crawling with spoon! Is the story making you feel any better? No! Piglet was all alone, lost in the woods, on the oogiest, spookiest night of the year, which really wasn't the best place to be. Get me the heck out of here! Piglet definitely needs some help with conquering his fears. Oh, bother. I wonder where Tigger is. It's Pooh. Hey, Pooh. How are you? They took my fucking eyes. Halloween without you would be like last year. And the year before last year. And the last year before last last year. And the last last year. Oh, you're here again! I wish you would leave me alone for five seconds! than the year before that year. <laughs> Doctor, turn off my pain. Brain drain! Inhibitors. All right. I'll have my own Halloween all by myself. <laughs> if only me was more like Piglet. Ooh, I love surprises and wearing disguises 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 <laughs> Better be spooky and scary. I'll bounce from the shadows and Better be very be spooky and scary. I'll bounce from the shadows and I'm gonna sing a song for you. And I'm gonna show you a thing or two. So have seen bad and if it's all the same, just sit back and relax while I eat your brain. I wanna scare Piggle. Cover your eyes, little buddy, beware. I'll cover your eyes, little buddy, beware. I'll cover your eyes, little buddy, beware. I'm twitching and itching to scare Piggle. No, but go see the go! Downward spiral, downward spiral, downward spiral. Oh, what if they find you or look out behind you at Tigger Type Car? Now, Tigger Type Figure makes scared even bigger than speed. Who am I? What am I? Rain Drain. Ah! And tricks always happen when ghosts are a flapping and tricks are for kids. I wanna scare Piggle again. <laughs> Cover your right little party, beware. Cover your right little party, beware. Cover your right little party, beware. Oh, by the way. Bitch. Rain Drain, boom. Ah! Baba Bowie. Oh!
Sound effect. Booga booga! <laughs> I'm so very sorry. What the hell is even a spookable? It's not even in the English dictionary. Can someone just Google it for me, pretty please? You're telling me that if I open this door right now. Fine, open it. Or treat mother -fucker. These hallucinations are really getting to me thanks to all that weed from here yesterday. I'll look outside to see if I'm safe. That is the scariest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Drain. He's been kidnapped by Spookables! It's not even a real word! I fell asleep! You have <laughs> 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 The Screaming Stones! Don't be scared, David! What is that you? Wish I could say it was, but it wasn't. <laughs> Scream. I know I got it this time. <laughs> Okay. I hate to interrupt this running dead, but I have something to say. I don't know why there's been an influx of Marion in this segment, but I've had enough. Guess I gotta pull out the Ifix twin reference. With this motherfucking brain drain in this once a year hollow asset. You better not torture me any longer, Tigger, and we'll need to bust these gun and pump him. in trouble because everyone is at home being lazy while eating their Halloween candy. This isn't even an episode of Lazy Town. They aren't even producing any more episodes you dummity. Oh no! Oh no! I'm convinced. I decided I'd like to go as Pooh's very best and very, 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 very. 
You scared us to death. You killed us all. I don't know. I think Disney works really hard. Yeah. His job's a lot more difficult than you think. Oh, okay. What follows is a brief construction montage. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. The rope, the trapdoor slams down, and we- Now shh, don't make a sound. Five minutes later. Twenty minutes later. One hour later. Okay, I'm bored. Scream. Run. <laughs> The fuck you say to me, you little shit? You damn kids get off my property! Excuse me, but could someone, anyone really? Meanwhile, and then, and, and I <gasps> don't even think about it. Fine, I knew you could do it. <laughs> no, honey, try again. Sweet cod, we give up. What's in it? I don't remember. How did you forget? <gasps> A break. <sighs> The same day later... Vegetables! Oh god, gross! Are you kidding me? Is this real? Who, who, who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Ass! Open the door, please. Open the door. I am not home! Who's in this door, I'm respecting your privacy by knocking, but asserting my authority by coming in anyway! No. No! <laughs> I'm surrounded by Only if you are knowing top secret password! Is it... KILL YOURSELF! How'd you know? That's exactly what I was thinking. A few moments later... Uh, uh, he's not here at the moment. Please leave a message after the- I'll KILL YOU! Trick or treat! Trick or treat! <laughs> Do I look like a freaking monkey to you? Also, I'm not your brother. Don't worry, I'll find help. Everything's gonna be okay. Guess who? Guess who, he says. Uh-huh. Here's a nice juicy rutabaga for Pooh Bear. I can't eat this shit! Do you know there's a bee on your head? Yep! Right for you, Tigger! A Rob Zombie poster! Stone for Pooh Bear. I got a raw for you, Tigger. <laughs> brain drain. Oh boy, I love you. I'm missing all that fun. And then brain drain. Guess we're stuck with the fan. Spinach. That's, That's disgusting. disgusting. <laughs> Oh, you just lost me with all that Italian talk, crew boy. You shit me and from now. <gasps> Brain drain. Oh, story's true. There really is a kabloo. Oh my, they'll have to think fast to get out of this one. Uh, you can keep doing that. Oh, excuse me, Mr. On Camera Talent. Let's see if you make it into my go-kart episode. I gotta get out of here. Quick, everyone. Wait a second. I have an idea. We gotta catch the kab- Are you insane? Yes, Piglet. I am insane. Deal with it. Tigger's right. What? Wait a minute. Tigger's right? Oh, you better believe I- That can't be right. Just because it's stupid doesn't mean it isn't smart. Moments later- You orange striped bastard. 
Wasn't it your fault that Lumpy Space Elephant was dropped in a jackety lantern form after severing her head in the shed? You got it all wrong. I only used a chainsaw to drive them away, not to nap in a half a lump to rip its head off and use it as display. Now I'm confused. Peter was innocent all along. Wouldn't that mean we have... <gasps> a brain drain! This is a good brain drain! Oh, wow. I have an idea for one where the animals uh, race go-karts! Well, remind me again, how did I ever become unscared? This may be a fourth wall break, but I think Piglet had a brain drain moment because he forgot that he was in that segment you all just saw. Thunder! The tree is making wolf jokes. That's the kaboom! We caught him! Now what? Well, let's make hit us off of the hundred acre wood. I think we. Uh, that is. To, uh, I'm... Mr. Kaboom? And they crashed and smashed through the board. Somebody won't tell me. The tree is making noises. Show yourself. You cannot hide from me. Oh no, you don't. Meanwhile, in the parallel universe, where the tree of terror is actually the gabloon. Holly, can you have all my spinach? Um, Mr. Gabloon? Mm -hmm. Who dares disturb my slumber? I don't want candy. All I care about is Lumpy. I wish my friend back. You hear me, you mean old balloon? I want my friend back! I am sorry, young Shaku, but I'm afraid that wish is too much for me to handle. Consider your wish ungranted. Another parallel universe. Wait, he is a dead. Could you in a car? <gasps> you okay? <laughs> you know, there's only one thing left to say. Why not? Why not? Tricks. Gasp, he gasps. Trick or treat, mother! Oh. Hello there. Ah! <laughs> Everyone died. The end. <laughs> oh yeah, we got him! Yeah, woo! he wasn't expecting that. I think it's nice. Oh yeah, woo! Junior, what? What? There's another one. <laughs> Who is that handsome devil? Hello, gorgeous. Hello, gorgeous. Hmm, huh. doesn't look like me at all. Nah, I'm good. You were right. I love Halloween. Halloween. Hello. English.
this motherfucker do you speak it yes ah, why would you do this hey what's going on here soinkies Booga booga! <laughs> you just got spooked! Thanks for joining. Hey, who turned out the lights? Oh shit, what the hell was that sound? I don't know, but it made me shit my I pants. I recognize that sound. I think it's from the Tom Winner movie is about. What is it Tell me, bear. what the hell is I it called? I want now. He checks. Oh, oh no, not this, no. <laughs> Ah, uh, you know. 